Hi, welcome to Camel in the Fall. We are in our fall conditions and we are now going to tell you about the Camel real estate market update for August of 2023. It was a busy month. We had 36 sales for August, which is a strong month for us. August is usually a quieter month um, for real estate in August as people are usually here just on vacation, but 36 sales, strong month. 1,065,000 was the average sale price at $758 a square foot. And on average, things were selling in about 48 days. I've got some updates to talk to you about this month on hotel condo square foot prices that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. And also some information coming out of the town of Camel that I need to relay to you that you will also not wanna to to miss. And uh, we'll talk about that at the end of this video. But for now, let's get into the August sales figures and how they broke down per market segment. So single family homes, we had four sales last month and the average sale price for a single family home in Camelot in August was $2.6 million or $756 per square foot. And they were on the market on average for about 60 days. Half duplexes, we only had one half duplex sell, $1.59 million or $633 a square foot. And it was on the market for about 45 days. Townhomes, we had 12 townhomes sell last month. Average price point was just over a million dollars at 1,061,000 or $767 per square foot. And they were on the market for about 54 days. Apartments, we had six sales at $630,000 as an average sale price, $660 a square foot or 54 days on market. Hotel condos, we had nine resale hotel condo markets sell in the month of August. Average price point was $646,000 or $728 per square foot. And they were on the market for about 37 days on average. And uh, tourist homes, sorry, we had four tourist homes sell. They were averaged about a million dollars, so just over a million, a million and five thousand dollars uh, average sale price or $979 per square foot and they were on the market for 38 days. How does that compare to last August of 2022? Well, actually sales were bang on the same. We had 36 sales in August of 2022, the same as this year. Uh, price point, uh, the average price last year was 955,000. So prices were up about 10% for this August. Um, square foot price last August was $602 a square foot compared to $758 per square foot this year. So that's a whopping 20% increase in square foot price that we've seen. And days on market were actually very similar, 48 days this year, 41 days last year. How are we doing year to date? So we're at the end of August, we've got four months left to go in sales for 2023. This year we've had 342 sales in total. Uh, the average price point this year is $1 million or $853 per square foot. And the average days on market for 2023 is 41 days for the first uh, eight months of the year. In 2022, by this time, we'd had 421 sales. So sales volume is down about 19% year over year. Uh, price point last year was 968,000. So we're up about 3% this year in price, uh, average price point uh, over the eight months. And, uh, but the square foot price is, is much higher. Their square foot price is about 17% higher than this time last year. And days on market, things are taking about 27% longer to sell this year so far than they were in 2022. So the average days on market in 2022 was only 30 days. This year we're at 41 days, still very quick, but certainly slower than last year. So let's talk about hotel condos again. Camor uh, continues to build hotel condos. We've just had another approval for 60 plus unit um, condo property that will be going in on Bow Valley Trail at some point in the next couple of years. We've probably got close to 500 new units being built in the next several years for these hotel condos. They've all been pre-sold and pre-construction. The latest hotel condo pricing per square foot is huge. We're starting to see sales in that $1,200 to $1,500 per square foot. So with the resale market right now, in August anyway, at, on an average about $700 a square foot, $725 a square foot, there's gonna be some big room from the resale market to uh, increase in price. Um, based on these new hotel condo markets or hotel condos that are coming to market in the next several years. So it's gonna be interesting to see how that all that pricing shakes out over the next few years and whether the value will be able to continue to grow or even stay at the same price points that we're seeing those new hotel condos sell for at this point. Bigger updates coming out of the town of Canmore. They have, uh, they have a town of Canmore livability tax policy tax policy tax force that they are starting to create. They've asked several people in the community 
to join this task force and the purpose of the task force is to develop a plan to phase out the tourist home designation in town and also investigate tax options to incentivize full-time or long-term occupancy of residential units or investigate a tax option to incentivize purpose-built rental accommodation. So I'm sure as everybody knows, the town of Camera is desperate for staff accommodation um, or accommodation for locals in general at uh, sh uh, price points that are more affordable. And so this task force that has been uh, engaged by the town of Canmore is going to be looking at potential vacancy taxes of second home owners. Something that you need to be aware of and something that you can certainly, I'm sure, contact the town of Canmore to get more information about. But wanted to make sure that you knew about that. It was just, uh, it was just announced this week or last week that this task force is going to be looking at those kinds of objectives to see how they, the town of Canmore can move forward with their affordability housing plan. As always, if you've got any questions about the Camel real estate market, my contact information is below. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again very shortly with the September market update as we're reaching the end of September in the next couple of weeks.